in this video, I want to show you how the banks trade because it's very unique and simple, but majority of us as retail traders, sometimes we don't understand what is happening. What is the bigger picture of the market? So as you finish this video, you will have an upper hand of the market. You'll be able to concentrate with the right patterns. You'll be able to know why the market is like a chameleon. It keeps changing. And the, the moment you understand why it is changing, the better. So this video is about how do the banks trade or how the banks trade. If you're interested, hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the video and let's get into the video. So the first thing, banks will never trade from lower time frame uh, if they have not checked the higher time frame. So if you want to trade like the banks, I, I promise you, monthly, weekly, daily, that is the way to go. You have to know the bigger picture. You have to know what is the monthly saying, what is the weekly saying, what is the daily saying, so that you can be able to know where you are at with the market. So we will be doing a case study of Audi USD, and this is current market. So whatever we'll do on Audi USD, you can go and add it on your watch list, and you can be able to analyze together. We can be able to analyze together. So if you're watching me and you want us to do this together, just open your trading view, Go to the monthly time frame, check out DUSD on the monthly, and you will find exact page like this. Also, if you're if you're watching this video, uh, reasons. So maybe if you're watching after one year, it won't be the same thing. So this is the current market of out USD. And funny thing, I've come to realize when the market is on a on a ranging. So what banks do, they will give you a confusion or a double bottom. So we have a pattern. That's how banks trade, in fact. I've come to realize bank will make you decide what the market will do. So this double bottom, this double bottom, the neckline is here. This is the neckline of that double bottom. That's the neckline. And this double top, the neckline is here. So you can see the bank wants you to, to, to just figure out where do you think the market will go after here? Do you think this double bottom will come and break out and reach the neckline? Or do you think the double top is powerful? The market will go down to the neckline. So at the end of the day, they will not give you, um, what I've come to realize, they give you two possibilities, a possibility of a buy and a possibility of a sell. Then when you make a decision, they trade against that decision. And that's how bank makes money. So they give you a, a possibility of a buy because of a double bottom. And then they give you a possibility of a sell because of a double top. So you as a trader, you're the one uh, to come and say, oh, we have a double bottom. I'm buying, I'm buying up to the neckline. Because if you do the, the way we do the analysis, you'll say, Oh, the half was broken. So, and you can see the half was broken and they have tested half. So for you, if you are a retail trader, you can make such a decision and say, my double bottom has broken half. They have tested half. I'm entering a buy and I'm targeting up to the neckline. That's 479 pips. That is number one. So if, if buyers, uh, if let's say 1 million of traders suggest the market will will buy. So 1 million traders have suggested the market will trade. Now they wait to see if the number of sellers will outnumber the buyers. So what happens is that whenever we want to sell this market, we are thinking, how do we sell this market and we do not have a confirmation? For those people who use WBB, they'll say, I don't have a, a bearish end gap. There's nothing that is making me to sell. So my, my, people who will sell this market, let's say there are only 100,000 traders. So 100K uh, sell the market. Where do you think the market will go, guys? Do you think the market will buy and support 1 million traders? Or do you think the market will sell not to support even the 100K? It will sell because if the bank now sell against the 1 million, they will make more money. So they don't choose to sell because 100K, they have said it will sell. They will look for a reason for them to sell so that the stop loss of 1 million people, they'll be hit. And that's how the banks make money. 
So now you understand what is happening. The bank will wait for you to make the decision and then they will make against their decision. They will look for a loophole for that decision to be. They will look for a loophole and they will say, once the loophole uh, is clear, now we can do what? Now we can target the vice versa. In this case, monthly cannot help us because if we stay on the monthly, it's like a ranging market. This monthly market is ranging. So we don't know what the market wants to do. We don't know if the market wants to break this ranging and hit the next uh, resistance, or we don't know the sellers will go. So monthly in this case cannot help us. So once you identify that monthly chart cannot help you, where do you go now after that? You go to the weekly time frame. So you go to the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, you're not going to look for a double top again because we have identified that that double top on monthly cannot help us and it is still available on the monthly. So you're not going on the weekly to again look for a double top or a double bottom because you will find it. You'll find it. You'll find a double top. In this case, there was no double bottom. So for me, I believe the market on weekly is telling us there was a, a business that was not finished. The market broke. You can see weekly, we do not have a double bottom like monthly, but we can see the market broke out on the weekly. The support was broken, but they have never come. So there is a possibility, guys, that this market can come back to this level. And that's how many people, that is one possibility of this market can sell. That's 350. Looking at the weekly time frame, there is nowhere, uh, but there is nowhere the market can break a support. They go up and they fail and they forget they had broken support previously. So what I'm trying to say is that on the weekly time frame, we are not interested with this double top because it's available on the monthly. But this support, guys, this support is very very important. This support is important. Why? Because once support was broken, what really happened? Why did the market go up? So there's possibility of this market coming down. So let's go on the daily time frame. So when you go to the daily time frame, again, we are not interested with the double top because the double top is available on the daily, weekly, monthly. And I told you any double top that is available on all this time frame, what happens is that it is weaker. So we cannot rely, even if the double top seems to have dropped the market, Many are the cases it won't it won't do that. So it's better to trade this cell because the support was broken like this. It's better to enter cell because support was broken rather than saying I'm entering because of a double top. That one it won't work for other trades. Now we can see two supports being broken on daily. We have support one and we have support two. And we are wondering what is really happening. So two supports have been broken. We can see sellers have um have decided to take this market down, but we are not yet sure because of this spinning top. So we are not, we are thinking, uh, we believe when support breaks, the market comes to 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 test back. We say it if ever a support is broken, if you ever see a market breaking any support. Trust me, they will look for an opportunity where they will go to retest before they come down. So this retesting is what we don't know how long it will retest. So the market is still a sell because on the daily, the sellers have broken that support. Are we together, guys? That's how you analyze on the daily. And you can see once support is broken, it is coming to the next support. There is no obstacle. Because this support is broken, this market has a potential of coming down 174 pips. But the question is, how, where or how long or how far will the market retrace? So we can't identify that on weekly. We can only go lower on four hour. So when I went on four hour, I found something interesting, guys. This is what I found. I found, yes, you're saying the market has broke support on the daily, but don't you know, on four hour, we have OPT. And this is what made me like, love it. We have OPT, guys. 
And you see Audi SD having OPT, this is a big deal. So let me delete everything and let's concentrate on the OPT. So I want you to add it on your watch list. Audi SD, we have OPT on the four hour. OPT means one pattern on one time frame. So we have OPT guys. And this OPT, you need to understand that the market can do two things. It can buy or it can sell. Why buy if it does if it gives us a complete, if it gives us a complete double, if it gives us a complete double top, it will buy. If it gives us an inverted cup and handle, like buyers fail to break that half, it might give us a cup and handle. So where it is, it's still they have used this in a way. Let's go to the daily and see that double top. Can you see, guys? So we do not have a pattern on of Audi USD. This is Audi USD FXCM. And I would really want to check on other Audi USD so that we don't have um other saying we have like I don't want to have different different brokers saying different things. So that's what I'm limiting. So this is Oanda. You can still see on Oanda. We don't have any support there. This is um this is forex.com. Again, we don't have anything. We don't have a support here yet. They have broken. So you have to make sure your support is not uh the other brokers are not giving you support. So we have made sure not that we have compared with four brokers. They have they, they have not, they don't have that uh support. We don't have that support. You see, we don't have this support. So this makes us understand that, wow, if there's a trade, guys, I want you to trade this week. If there's a pair, I want you to concentrate with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind is out USD. Because OPT comes once in a lifetime. OPT is not that pattern that you will be finding every single day. You will stay before you find it. So we have OPT. So when you go to four hour, it is very clear. We have a double bottom and this double bottom is nowhere. This double bottom is nowhere, guys, is nowhere on daily. The double bottom is very clear. So I want you to pay attention why. This can be that trade that you will practice OPT. This is that trade that you will practice OPT. So, um. We have neckline. That is our neckline, guys. And then we have our half. So how do we trade OPT? I have told you, this double bottom can give us two things. Number one, it can give us a complete double top like that. It can give us a complete double top. And a complete double top, I mean, if they break neckline, they will go this distance. That is number one. So how do you trade as the banks? The banks knows we shall move the direction where people are not expecting. That's the purpose of this video. Banks will always move against retail traders. And you see, if you're biased saying, oh, it's a buy, it's a buy, no. Banks, they will be waiting for that opportunity where everyone is not seeing it. And the fact that majority have seen this double bottom, they think of one way, it can only buy. What if it sells, it breaks out of that? Do you know it will drop that distance? Do you know it will go the same distance? So the first thing that you need to understand is that banks have two scenarios. So they have put the two scenarios for you to choose. And whatever you choose, they will go against you. So how do you do it? Instead of buying right now, you have to wait for the triggers. And I'll tell you how do you do the triggers. So if the market has to, if this market has to sell, the first trigger, it has to break the bottoms, the two bottoms, the first and the second. They have to break the bottoms. So if they will, if they will sell, they have to break the bottoms. That is number one. If they will buy, they have to break the half. Guys, that is that easy. So if they will buy, they will have to break the half. 
And if they'll continue to buy, they'll have to break the neckline. It's that easy. It's that easy. This is a trade that you don't enter inside here because there's so much uh, in it. So we, you just wait for have to be broken. Like, or they have to be broken if the market will buy. So if the market will buy, they'll be waiting for that have to be broken. If the market will sell, they will be waiting for the bottoms to be broken. And note, there's the first bottom, the first attempt, they might break the first bottom, but fail to break the second bottom. So we'll be even paying attention on this. So we not only we want the bottoms to be broken, we want the both bottoms to be broken. How? We want the first bottom to be broken and the second bottom to be broken so that we can identify that surely this is a sell market. Are we together, guys? The sell market will be if they break the first bottom and also they break the second bottom. So for us to think of selling, we need a red candle breaking, breaking the both bottom. And immediately they break. Let me tell you guys, just sell and hold on that sale. And the first take profit will be here and the second take profit will be here. So this is a trade that is a lifetime trade. You see those trades that you examine if you are understanding OPT. These are the trades that you will take and you'll tell me if OPT is a good strategy or not. Why? Because if the market tends to break and you can see we'll have... Um, We'll have some, you can see this first support is getting broken. The first support is getting broken. So they can come breaking, breaking, breaking. So we have this, we have this indication of the market breaking 61 pips. Why am I supporting sell so much? Because on the daily time frame, the market broke support. We broke support. Can you see? The market broke support. We broke support. And then we were left with a green candle. So the reason why we are not entering is because we don't know if the market wants to retrace or to do what, but it is a sell. The fact that the market is a sell, it is giving us that uh, energy to look for sell opportunity. But I've told you, if half is broken, what are you supposed to do? If half is broken, you're supposed to look for buy. If this bottom plus this first bottom plus second bottom breaks, just sell to the half. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. That's how buy. That's how banks trade. So banks, what they are doing, they know buy equals the double bottom. So they are looking for majority. They are looking for traders to trade the double bottom, and then they are looking for whoever will be trading inverted, inverted cup and handle. So they are looking for both. So they are just getting the numbers. You know, they have the they have the books, they have the ledger, they have everything. They have all the details. Bank, they have all the details. They will know whoever will place will place a buy trade. They will know whoever place a sell trade. And then now for them, because they the the pattern is here. So for this pattern either to break either way, it has to succeed. So they will they will just use this pattern. And they can come, they can drag this market and then come to here and you see this market just buying. So we need to be very, very careful. This is a trade that I will watch out, guys. I will watch out on Audi USD until the end. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope it was helpful. Like this video, comment down below. If you like it, comment down below. Let me know what you are thinking about this trade. Another thing, guys, the course is available if you want this module like the module on uh, on double bottoms had it like a whole module with five episodes if you want it it's only 400 dollars. if you want a physical class the class will start next week on monday date 15 january class if you're not in kenya and you cannot be able to attend physical class the course is available online and it is recorded the course it has 60 videos for you to learn by your own and understand every single day. And I think that is the gift that you can give yourself. The only gift you can give yourself 2024 is developing your skill to the, to the, to the core of everything. Like you can develop your trading skill, have a course, try 
go and understand how we trade and then try to now work it out because this is a current market. I have said and I have said and I've decided to, to, to bring current market, mix it with backtesting so that we can analyze a current market. So this is a double bottom that is only on four hour. What will happen to this double bottom? That is the question. Thank you so much, guys. If you need the course, just WhatsApp me. I will leave my number, WhatsApp me, and I will communicate to you on how you'll do the payment. Thank you and love you. Bye-bye. God bless you.